Rough week for drivers, and it's only Tuesday. Motorists stuck on a Metro Atlanta interstate for a second straight day. You can see that tractor trailer there flipped on its side after a big crash on I-20 into Cab County. And tonight, the driver of that semi opening up to CBS 46 talking about the crash. All of this coming less than 24 hours after another major mess on I-285. And this time, last night, a fiery truck crash under Ashwood, Dunwoody Road at the top of the section of the perimeter blocked until it fully opened early this morning. Here's CBS 46's Don Shipman with more on today's mess on I-20. Not your typical day on the job for North Carolina truck driver Raman Miller. I've seen that car bounce off the wall and spin out of control. Miller's workday abruptly ending in a wild crash on Interstate 20 into Cab County. The impact of the crash forcing his big rig to flip onto its side. Pat my brakes, pat my brakes, and tried to avoid them, but they just came right into me. DeKalb County fire officials also say the multi-vehicle crash could have been a lot worse. Miller's refrigerated tractor trailer was hauling 40,000 pounds of cooking oil. One fire official saying that they're lucky the truck didn't catch fire. Thank God for a seatbelt, because uh, it could have been worse. Chopper 46 showing from above his tractor trailer diagonal across all eastbound lanes near the Turner Hill Road exit. Traffic backed up for miles for a little over an hour. In all, three vehicles involved. Two people in the SUV rushed to Grady Memorial Hospital, suffering from what DeKalb County fire officials describe as moderate injuries. I was lucky God was with me today because I don't even have a scratch on me as of now. Uh, feel a little sore, but I'm just happy to be able to stand here and just tell you what happened. That was Don Shipman.